ladies and gentlemen, the misconceptions surrounding buying a budget use sailboat brought to you by sailing vloggers. Yes, that's correct, ladies and gentlemen. There is a lot of misconceptions out there when it comes to purchasing a used sailboat, and the majority of it is brought to the masses by sailing YouTube vloggers. Now, I'm not picking on these channels. They're amazing for entertainment, and hey, they're bringing sailing to the masses, they give people an escape from their life, and that's awesome. But when it comes to actually wanting to buy a vessel, start sailing, and get on the water sooner than later, not costing yourself your entire bank account, these channels, for the most part, are not where you should be searching for your information on what vessel to buy, what things cost. Now they don't lie to you, they just selectively like to leave out quite a bit of real information, as well as not mentioning how much of their products are sponsored. But again, that's awesome for them, I'm glad they're there, and I'm glad they're bringing sailing to the masses. But today, let's go over some of these insane misconceptions about buying a used sailboat. All of you to stop what you're doing and listen. So misconception number one, and probably the most prevalent and most common, I always see in the comments section of any sailing channel that has done a major refit in the last three years. You'll always see, but now you know everything about your vessel. Uh, no you don't. And I'm here to tell you that doing a refit in a boatyard for two years will teach you little if next to nothing about what you need to know when it comes to truly cruising full time. What you need to know about your vessel is how it reacts, how it handles, and what it does in different types of weather. What it can handle, what it can't handle. How your sails stretch, how the motor works, what RPMs to actually motor sail at. What's it gonna do when a squall pops up out of nowhere? Because it will. And what conditions need to be reefed and what needs to happen here or there. By working on your vessel in a boatyard for two years or a year, you in reality learn nothing about what you need to know when it comes to cruising full time. And sure, you're gonna learn the ins and outs of fiberglass work. Heck yeah. I can also do that by making my own dodger. And it'll take me a week, not a year. You're not gonna learn what you truly need to know when it comes to sailing full time. You need to sail. You need to get out there and actually use your vessel on the water in the type of conditions you're gonna live in full time if that's your plan. You're gonna be checking in to different countries. If you're just cruising around the Caribbean, there's numerous countries that you have to check in and out of, and all of them are completely different. And guess how much help you're gonna get from all that boatyard work? Zero. It doesn't teach you anything about cruising lifestyle. If you wanna learn fiberglass, great, go and do that. If that's gonna be your career, heck yeah, man, be the best that you can be at it. But when it comes to buying a used sailboat, somehow thinking to yourself that if I buy this and I spend two years working on it, I know everything about my vessel, that's just 100% incorrect. You know how it's put together. You know some fiberglass work, maybe some engine maintenance, some wiring, but you don't know anything about sailing. You didn't learn how to drive from popping the hood or putting gas in your car. You learned how to drive from driving, just like you learn how to sail from sailing. You learn this stuff on the water, not on a boat yard. I now accept crypto if you'd like to support the channel on Patreon. It would really, really help me out and it helps me continue to make these videos. So for only $10 a month, you do get access to our members area where I'm available to chat 24 seven basically. And it's only $10 a month, not per episode because I put out far too many episodes. I do about 28 episodes a month. So there's no way I can charge you per episode. So 10 bucks a month, boom, you get access to the members area. I can help you with anything boat related that you might need and like I said I now accept some of the major cryptos I will link the wallets down below all you have to do is shoot me the 10 in crypto to the wallet of your choice and boom I will get you all set up over on the members area so I hope to see you soon and I sincerely sincerely appreciate the people that have been supporting the channel if you do send crypto send me an email and I'll get you set all up right on the members area Misconception number two, and it's a doozy. The bank account killer. The cost of doing a refit. Now, none of these channels are actually honest with you about the cost involved. You know why? Because they leave out things. They leave out what? 
lodging, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody ever tells you that they're also paying rent or an Airbnb plus the boatyard fees. Now, you see some of these channels, they're refitting their vessels in a boatyard for a year or two. Now, you get the information on YouTube as if it's all happening in just a month's time. These guys are working on this boat for two years on the hard and renting an apartment. Are you out of your absolute mind? A lot of people are like, well, yeah, but you'd have to pay rent anyway. Uh, no, you wouldn't. Are you joking me? Is that a joke? You wouldn't have to pay rent had you bought a vessel that didn't need a refit right off of the bat. You know why? Because you'd be living on your vessel. Now, you might be living in a marina and paying marina fees, but that's it. You're not paying boatyard fees and for an apartment. You're just paying for marina fees. If you're actually sailing, you're going to be living on the hook or on a ball, and it's way, way cheaper but they never account for this cost. And then let's talk about renting an Airbnb or something long-term because some of these vloggers are doing that right now. They're in a marina doing a refit while renting a ridiculously overpriced Airbnb. I know because I'm in the Caribbean and there's one of them right down the street. So refits never make financial sense. I am here to tell you, it's an absolute fact. You will not save money by buying what you think is an inexpensive vessel and doing a refit. That is not how you save money in the world of sailing and it will never happen. It's always two, three, four times as much money and it always takes two or three times as long. Another factor no one in the world of sailing vloggers seems to like to account for is their time. Ladies and gentlemen, your time is the most valuable asset you have in life, period. You cannot get it back no matter how much money you have. Time is the most important thing that you have. Now, if it was me and I was a novice sailor, you know where I would want to spend that time? On the water, learning about cruising and sailing not in a boatyard learning about fiberglass repair. The stuff that these people are doing is not rocket science. Doing fiberglass is not rocket science. You don't need a PhD in order to do some fiberglass work. You don't need a PhD to do some wiring on a sailboat or engine work. We're talking 40 horsepower diesels here. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, go take a class on marine diesels. It'll cost you less and you're gonna learn about 6,000 times as much. This refit so I can learn about my boat misconception and I'm gonna save money by buying a less expensive vessel is 100% false and constantly pushed all of the time by these sailing vloggers. It absolutely drives me up the wall. Now something else that is always said in the comments, oh, such a hardworking couple. Uh, hello. If I use a spoon to shovel dirt, it's hard work. That doesn't make me a hard worker. That makes me stupid because I should have used a shovel to shovel the dirt and not a spoon. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here to tell you, stop thinking you can run out and buy a five or a $10,000 vessel put 500 bucks into it, and now you're gonna sail the world. We can look at numerous channels that thought they could do this, and guess what? Here they are, doing GoFundMes or Kickstarters and buying boats that are 100 plus thousand dollars. Because in reality, it costs a lot of money to get the right sailboat foundation for your sailing future. Now, if you are a budget-friendly sailor like myself, a fantastic way to save money is to become an American Sailing Association member. Now, I have a discount code linked in the description below. With becoming an American Sailing Association member, you do get access to dozens and dozens of other discounts and the membership lasts for an entire year. It's a fantastic way to save yourself money and get on the water sooner than later. Now, if you do need help getting on the water or narrowing down your boat purchase, or you just need some information and some help, consider heading on over to my website at chasinglatitudes.com. Over there, right on the homepage, you will see producer. Become a producer on the channel. With becoming a producer, you do get a one-on-one -on -one consult with me to discuss everything sailing related that you would need to, as well as you do get a year's access to our members area. Now, the members area is a fantastic place for information. We have hundreds of members 
members over there, all in various stages of starting sailing. Some have just purchased boats, some are taking ASA classes, and so on. It is a wealth of information, and it's not a public forum. It's a private members area, so there's no harassment, there's no bullying, there's no judgment over there. It's just a great place for information to help you get on the water sooner than later. If you would like to, you can also just send me $100 directly through PayPal. The link is in the description below for that as well. Now, if that's a little bit too much for the bank account, I completely understand. However, consider joining Patreon. For only $10 a month, you do get access again to the members area, which is a fantastic place for information to help you get on the water sooner than later. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a comment down below. Like, share, all that good stuff. Make it go viral. I don't know. Do something. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you so, so much for joining.